Hello, welcome back to Coding Box Automation Lab. This is Sherful. So, this is the continuation of SQL uh, tutorial, and uh, this tutorial we're going to see some uh, SQL operator like and or and not operator. So the where clause can be combined with and or and not operator. So we have seen previously uh, with the where clause uh, to use equal sign. Or in a, and, and we have seen also in a where clause we can use lots of other operators like greater, less, greater, equal, less than, equal, not, like, between, in. So similarly in a where clause we can use and, or, and not operators. The and, or, and, and or operators are used to filter record based on more than one condition. So the and operator displays a record, is to retrieve the record if all the conditions separated by and and a uh, keyword and uh, uh, those are and and both of the condition have to be true then it will retrieve the data similarly our operator displayed a record if any one of the condition if all the conditions separated by or but it's one of them it's it's true okay that time it will retrieve the data as an example here is let's say syntax and syntax select we have to use keyword select then column names whatever the column names uh, as per we need to retrieve the data from then table name and after that we'll put wire clause that's the keyword then conditions one and and keyword then condition two and then and and if uh, condition three and so on it means here is, here is an example from customers from cust from customers table, we're saying select Esther from customer, where country equals to Germany, and city Berlin or city Monach. So it means we're saying we're going to ret we want to retrieve all the data where country is Germany and and the city Berlin or city Monach. So where uh, here is a two condition. One is country have to be Germany, and another one, the city could uh, have to be like either Berlin or Monat. So either one of the city is Berlin or Monat, uh, as well as the country name is Germany. Then, based on this condition, you know, uh, we'll read, we'll get the uh, data from customer table. Let's see. In our coding, here okay we say here we have already select Esther from uh, where country Germany and we're saying and and we'll say in and you, know, you can see there's a it has a in in and we have a another or statement so we can put this one as uh, easily city we're saying city equals to city equals to either Berlin or or city city equals to would be Monat yeah, we're saying okay so let's run it F5 here you can see there's a country name it's Germany and there is a two cities for Germany Berlin and Monat we can see we have this is the product that we have customers and it has a Germany uh, we've entered uh, twice two row data for Germany and one is Berlin one other one is Monat so that's what it's it shows okay so this is our condition that we can use this is the way you can use where class with the and statement so it means in one here it have to be both condition have to be true uh, then it will retrieve the data the country and the city and inside the city we have a or condition so that's why since we have a data based on both city Berlin and Monat so it's pick the data for, from the uh, for the both cities right okay and then we can use so let's use the or statement how can we we can use the or statement so example here 
the same code we can say select register from customer where country Germany or uh, sorry where customer where country not country we'll say where uh, city let's put the city here see it is city equals to Berlin or or city equals to or city equals to Monat okay let's run this F5 here we go still in a sense both city both city we have a data based on both city so it will you know or if we put one condition it will run and if we use arc or operator so if if we have a data based on both condition it will get the data for the both condition if it uh, even if the one condition is true it would also return the data uh, since we use the or operator and how about how can we use not we can say select we'll see how we can use not select a store from so how about we want to retrieve all the data except the country name is Germany except the country name is Germany on that time you know we have seen all the data when is country based on the country name is Germany we'll see now all the data you know where country is not Germany I mean it's except the country Germany so we can say at that time we can use not operator with the wire plus we can say select sir from sir from customers customers and then we'll say where where not country where we have seen where country equals to Germany now we'll say where not country where not country country equals to where not country equals to Germany okay so let's run this statement here we go you can say it's retrieve all the data based on the country except the Germany it, we found Norway Canada Mexico but there is no Germany okay that's the way we can use not uh, operator with the wire close okay and it's a uh, next we'll see how can you we can use null you know the we can use null values in SQL so first we have to we have to know what is null a field with a null values is a field with no values null is means no values it's not a zero but it's no values if a field in a table is a uh, optional it is possible to insert a new record or updated record without adding a value to this field then the field will be saved with a null value so if you if you if you have a field in a table is optional we may need to update the data on later on so that's in that kind of scenario it's better to leave this uh, field as a null as a null value so we can update it so again null is not doesn't mean it's a zero when it says zero it's there is a zero is a value it's a fixed value but null it is not any value we'll leave it as an empty null is like an empty where we can update the value on later on okay so here let's insert null values to our table customer so we can insert some you know a null values in our customer how can we do we will same way we'll use insert into the table name then here is the co column name okay so we have a we have we know this in our customer in our customer tables uh, we have a we have how many in our customer tables we have column for customer ID customer name cust contract name address city postal code country and here we're saying to insert data for our customer table 
like customer id customer id customer name city country city countries so we're missing contract name address postal code there's a three column would be missing so those three columns in a value will be null so any times later on if we need we can enter or update the values for those three columns okay so let's see how can we how how can we do this and what what it shows after that after we enter some null values we'll say insert insert into what's the uh, table name customer right customers insert into customers then the columns names would be I'm just going to copy from my S uh, from my notes okay customer ID customer name city country and then then values values say let's put the value customer ID would be say example six comma then a customer name it's a string character would be so I'm just copying again okay and here you can if you want you can put some colon at the into or if you leave it it's fine F5 one row affected okay let's retrieve the customer table so let's see what how it looks F5 here we go you can see in customer table this is my last last row I just added the values is 6 Wolfs, uh, Wolfsky here is a Wolfsky and then customer name uh, cust uh, uh, this is and then uh, city there is a city so the contact name address is null and it's automatically say null and city I add the city and the country is Poland but postal code address and contract name you can see it's automatically since I didn't uh, insert any values for those columns so it's automatically in it uh, uh, update as a null so anytime we can update later on So now we'll see how we can use how we can use. Uh, so we we have seen that we enter some null values. So how we can, you know, use the the null operators. Here we can see the notes we're saying it is not possible to test for null values with comparison so, so in a null values okay we, we can't use any operator the compar comparison compar comparison operator such as equals less than or greater than or not equal okay in a null when if you want to check our null values in a null keyword doesn't go with the regular operators or like equals less than not equals doesn't go with this instead of you know it use is null or is not null is null or is not null operator okay so within for a null we either will use is null or will use is not null so how can we use is null syntax select columns names from table name where column name is null well we can just see is we can use you know uh, check if there is a column has any null value or not so we'll say where column name is null so let's see for the we, we have seen we just add you know we, we we know this in our customer tables have a some columns have a null value so how can we check it we'll check we'll say select select uh, customer table name is customers customers and then uh, what's the column names oh 
sorry we'll we'll check that we'll see select con uh, sorry we'll we'll put the column name select column name contract name this is the one we'll say contact name contact name contract name comma then address because I we know this this is the columns this is the column contact name address have a null values so we're going to check okay if those columns either have a null values or not okay address say customer so let's put the customer name also customers customer name then from what's the table name table name is customers customers right and then we'll say what's the condition condition where so where where address is now for address address is now we're saying from the customer tables from the customer tables okay retrieve all the data for contact name cust uh, contact name customer name address where address is null okay if address is null if address is a null then retrieve all the data for these three columns contact name address and customer name retrieve it okay you can see only we found one customer whose only we found one customer name Wolski whose address is null whose address is null and contract is also whose address is null and contract definitely is null too okay similarly we can use we can use is not null is not null let's example same thing so where where address is is not null not null f5 so we'll get okay we'll get all the three columns contract contract name address customers name from customer table you know all the data so where the address is not null is not null so we'll get all the data except the you know where the condition is address is not null so you will see the address there is all the data so where you know none of the uh, you know address is null all of the address have some values okay so this is the way we can use is null or is not null is null or is not null in our you know to to narrow down or to filter our condition okay we can't use where address equals to null we can't use either address is null or address is not null okay so pretty much uh, you know that's all about our some example uh, for is null or is not null so we'll, in, in, in our next lecture we'll see some SQL update statement okay thank you so much for now and we'll see you next tutorial